I've got a really beautiful little lever action carbine to show you today. This is the Big Boy Color Case Hardened Carbine from the folks at Henry Repeating Arms. The original Big Boy was the first centerfire lever guns that Henry offered. So when they decided to go into a case hardened line, they figured that this would be the great place to start with. They now offer several different frame sizes and caliber sizes and things like that in their case hardened line. The Big Boy Color Case Hardened line, they offer in uh, 38 357 Magnum, 44 Special, 44 Magnum, and 45 Coat. This is the 44 Special, 44 Magnum version. It's very versatile and it feeds both the Special Length and the Magnum Length cartridges very well. It's a really smooth action, as Henry is known for. They just work wonderfully. The lever cycles very smoothly. The trigger's very nice. These just have a wonderful action on them, and they are a worthy addition to the Henry line. There are six available models of this right now. As I said, the 38, 357, the 44, and the 45, and each of them are offered in either a carbine length or a rifle length. The rifle length has a 20-inch barrel and a standard lever loop, whereas the carbine version has a 16-inch barrel and the big loop lever. The big loop probably gives you some extra room when you've got a gloved hand going in there, but honestly, the standard lever works just fine for that. The big loops are mostly there to look cool, and they certainly do that. The overall length of the carbine version is just over 34 inches, and the weight is just under 7.5 pounds. It's a handy little carbine, really at home in a scabbard, or really easy to carry through the woods. And this would make a wonderful little hunting rifle for deer-sized game. The thing that most obviously sets these apart from the standard models is that the receiver and also the forehand tip are color case hardened steel. They are really color case hardened. It's not just a finish on them and it's beautifully done. The colors are nicely muted with shades of straw to red to purple to brown. It's just wonderfully done, beautiful. And each one of these is unique. There are no two of these that have the same exact color case hardening pattern on them. And it really makes these things look like the 19th century lever guns that we all know and love. Besides just the receiver, the four end tip is also color case hardened steel, which is a nice touch. The four end tip also has a sling swivel stud installed into it. And there's another sling swivel stud back on the stock. The barrel is 16 and a half inches long, blued steel with a very nice polish on it. It's rifled one in 20, which is just what you want to stabilize both the shorter and the longer bullets available for the 44 Special and 44 Magnum. The Octagon barrel really adds a look of nostalgia to this, really makes it look like a gun of the old west with all the modern features of the Henry rifles. The stock is American walnut, has a nice grain to it. The finish is a very nice and even satin. The rest of the stock has checkered panels on either side. It's very nicely done. It's a straight grip stock, which is what I want on a carbine like this. The forend is not a splinter forend. It's just a little bit of a beef to it, but it's just perfectly profiled to me. It's also American walnut, same finish as the stock and everything. And it also has checkering around the sides and the bottom of it. Very nicely checkered in a border pattern. Makes it easy to hold on to this when the weather's cold or whatever it is and it really makes it nice to look at too. The stock also features a solid rubber butt pad on these. The 44 Special and even the 44 Magnum doesn't kick bad at all in a carbine, but still the rubber recoil pad's a nice thing to have, not only for recoil absorption, but the rubber recoil pad is also good for letting it stick to your shoulder and not slide around like the steel butt plates tended to do. As with many of their current lever guns, Henry offers this as a side gate model. There's a side loading gate in here no, known as a King's Patent. Let you thumb your cartridges into the, into the magazine tube through the side of the gate. But thankfully, also, it maintains the old tube loading procedure, which I've always favored because it just, it's, it's really easy to do and it's uh, easy to, if you have what they call a Marlin Jam, like if you have a a round getting under the follower and you need to dump them all at once it's easier to do with the tube magazine loading you just take your tube out and you can dump them out however you need to but when you're in the field or whatever you can top off the magazine very easily using the side gate it's a really nice option to have and i'm glad to see that henry has been offering that on their rifles for a while 
I'm very pleased that there are no manual safety levers like cross bolts or anything like that on this. Henry has resisted that temptation and I'm thankful for that because there's no need for it. They do have a transfer bar safety built into the hammer. So if your hammer's down on a loaded round and a, a blow comes to the hammer like you drop the rifle or something like that, it's not gonna go off unless the hammer's pulled back and the trigger is deliberately pulled and held to the rear. The sights are traditional for this type of a carbine. The rear sight is a semi buckhorn with a white diamond aiming point on it. Really easy to pick up, really easy to see and quick to pick up in various lighting conditions. The front sight is a dovetailed brass bead front sight. It's serrated on the back side to eliminate sun glare and the brass bead of it really picks up nicely, nestles right into that semi buckhorn rear sight and it makes for easy and precise shooting in the field. The receiver is drilled and tapped for scope mounts if you want to mount a scope on this. I wouldn't myself because it just doesn't look right with a scope on it to me, but that's just me. It's drilled and tapped for the standard Henry type scope mounts, so you can get those a lot of different places. You could also put a peep sight on it, which I recommend doing on these because the peep sight is so much easier and quicker to use. There are wonderful sights available from Skinner Sights. You check them out. They make all kinds of different sights for the Henry. They can even make you a, a color case hard base on their site that really goes along with this doesn't detract from the looks of it at all and makes it a whole lot easier to use in the field the trigger pull on this Henry was really nice the trigger breaks very cleanly very crisply there's no creep or over travel or anything like that to it and it releases at just over a pound and a half and it's just as nice a trigger as you'd ever want to see which really leads to the accuracy that I got out of this thing at 50 yards from a bench rest, several different loads grouped into right at two inches, some a little bit under, some a little bit over at 50 yards, and that's as good as I can shoot an open-sided carbine at 50 yards. It's, this thing is just very accurate. It's reliable. It feeds a wide variety of load from light 44 specials up to heavy 44 magnums. In a carbine length barrel, a 44 magnum is a whole different deal than it is in a revolver. It, you, you gain several hundred feet per second with the extra barrel length either in the the special or the carbine shooting a 44 special in a carbine length barrel brings it up to 44 magnum performance and shooting 44 magnums in a carbine length barrel brings it up to the next level after that it's a really neat thing to have one of these as your primary long gun along with a revolver chambered for the same cartridge it makes all kind of sense especially if you're out on a long hunt trip or something like that and you don't carry around a bunch of different kinds of ammunition it's what the guys used to do in the old west they looked for commonality of cartridges in their long guns and their handguns a great all-around load for the 44 special is double taps 240 grain hard cast solid keith style semi wood cutter bullet it's running close to 1100 feet per second out of this carbine length barrel it's just a good all-around load powerful load for the 44 special that kind of bridges the gap between the 44 special and the 44 magnum is double taps bonded defense 200 grain jacketed hollow point it's moving close to 1300 feet per second out of this carbine length barrel it's really made for self-defense use as its name implies but it would be a great deer load Good all around plinking and practice load for the 44 Magnum is a hand load using a 240 grain full metal jacket flat point bullet running close to 1400 feet per second. It's a nice pleasant shooting load.
a serious hunting load for the 44 Magnum is Lehigh Defense's 220 grain Extreme Penetrator. It's a solid copper bullet with a really aggressive nose profile that imparts a lot of shock to the target but still will really penetrate through bone and flesh. Today we're seeing quite a bit of resurgence in the popularity of lever action rifles. There's a whole bunch of new lever guns coming out from different manufacturers and you got new guys getting into the game and I think that's a wonderful thing. Lever actions are way underappreciated. They're plenty accurate. They're wonderfully reliable. They're nostalgic. They evoke the spirit of the old west and they're just the kind of thing that stirs the soul of a guy like me. I can appreciate black rifles and plastic guns and all sort of things like that but a nice lever gun like this is what really hits me in my wheelhouse. There's just any number of uses you can put to this thing from uh, target shooting to planking to hunting to just enjoying it however you want to enjoy a gun. These things are a lot of fun and they're also practical hunting tools. These are available now. You should be able to find them in stock at distributors, probably on some of the dealer shelves as well. The MSRP on these is $1,246 which is not cheap, but it's not really expensive in today's money either when you compare it to some of the other rifles that you can get out there that are not nearly as nice as these and not nearly as versatile as these. To find a dealer in your area who can get you one of these, get on to Lipsy's website, Lipsy's.com. Lipsy's is a big distributor down in Baton Rouge, Louisiana that has a nationwide network of dealers. So chances are there's somebody near you that can get you one of these. You get on the Lipsy's website and check out their dealer finder. Put in your zip code and they'll tell you where a dealer is near you. Henry Rifles are born in the USA, 100% made in the USA, designed in the USA. Henry says, made in America or not made at all, and they mean it. The folks at Henry are a fine bunch of folks. They care about you. They care about our sport. They care about our rights. They care about what they make. You can't go wrong buying a Henry. Check them out at henryusa.com. first ran some of uh, this uh, Remington uh, 
Well, crap. Wait a minute. Oh, 